Welcome back guys to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild where we come to the snowy lands of Hebra Just a little higher than Tabantha and where the Rito seemed to lie As we found ourselves shrines galore once we've entered this tower a shrine Over at this labyrinth a shrine possibly down here as well Who knows if there's a shrine this way? Well, we definitely know. Oh, there's a shrine that way as well to be honest so That's not even far from where we are he says looking at it being miles away, but there's definitely a shrine here as well because we sensed it on our way in we've also got a house below us but with that in mind it's harder to climb in cold climates without the proper food and our full climbing gear on so i'm gonna take flight and see what we can see over here the shrine that we picked up at the very least will be picked up now so many places to check out i'm sure I'll take this as well, these wild berries, thank you. As we fly our way along. We find ourselves a very obvious cork puzzle. I don't want to melt it too much. Oh, that one broke. Yeah, that one went in. Why did the first one break? I do not know. Yeah. The cork was found, and we continue along towards our death not get hit by the snowball. There's Amber there. Uh, 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 uh. Can't get to it. I give up. It's only 30 rupees. The 30 rupees is the world. Where's our shrine though? Stop beeping now, it's this way. Aha! It's definitely linked to this. A giant door. Which we cannot push, we can only climb. It's not metal. I can't jam it open. Can't bomb it. Is there a hole? There is no hole. The shrine's definitely below it. Hello. That's definitely telling us to do something, isn't it? Right, so let's move up here. That said, I'm in the snow now proper. And on foot. Leaving beauty behind, so it's probably best for me. Just equip our boots and get moving up there at speed, eh? See, to be honest, they're snow boots as well. They, I know they give snow speed, but they should also give a little bit of uh, warmth, surely. So there's basically a track leading up. So we've got to take one of those snowballs from the bottom all the way up to the top and then let it tip down. But to get it to go into that track. We'll have to choose a very specific route. There seems to be multiple gullies, and if we go down straight this way, it's gonna go down that left hand side there. Ah oh well. What's at the peak? Snowballs! As expected, a cork too? Not so much. Right, so if that's what we're doing, and having followed it up from the bottom, and yeah, we probably shouldn't be doing the heat. I'd say it's this one we want to drop into. Why? Because it's going to hit that thing there, and then turn around to the right-hand side. That is if it didn't get... St oh, it's just a little bit too much momentum on it. Will it go in the right way? And then we've got to get it hit the door. So it's either this one, or it's this one. To get it into that gully. Yep. 
just probably depends where it rolls and hits that bit first of all, because it's got to... Yeah, there we go. It's got to go into the channel itself. Then it's got to go round. And then down that way. I've lost sight of it. Nope, we're getting... It. It's going to get there. Yep. So basically, whenever we see snowballs, the snowballs are a puzzle. Simple as, really. See it, do it. Break down a wall. And if it's meant to my need or size or weight, could I stasis one and whacked it over? Or even bomb arrowed, I don't know. But there's a shrine and a shrine trial completed. I gotta wonder though, as we enter Jihala Shrine. This isn't a very good warp point. That house is nearby, I wonder if it was gonna tell us about it and give us a shrine quest or something like that. But to be honest, I reckon there's probably just a puzzle inside here. Most importantly though, we'll get our HP refilled after that uh, little bit of a fool last time when chasing the dragon. Maybe I shouldn't use that phrase. To you, sets foot in the shrine, I am G. Halia. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Tandem. What do you mean, tandem? Well, at the moment, it looks like you just want me to drop this on there. I mean, that's got to be number one. I'm glad it just falls directly on and doesn't roll. Is there some kind of slight indent on it? That keeps it stuck there? No chest yet, but we got two different rooms. I get ya. Right, we're obviously stasising the ball, shooting down the ropes, and then letting it fall. For this one, however, we're just taking down one. Smash the switch in. All good, all proper. What's my reward? Ah, diamond, the sparkle, the luster. I really do have to get that certain spear remade. Right, same strategy. But just like that. No momentum was applied. Again, yet another new type of trial, but we also get ourselves our completion. Ha! Ah, my arrows. Where's the other one fallen? No, nope, nowhere to be seen. That's a shame. Any extras I can get? I had 140. Now I'm down to 60. What's with this? Well, the shrine is taken. And those lovely hearts were filled. Of course, I can make it a lot more hearts. In fact, six by the time we get next shrine, 95. We're getting there. That wasn't even a shrine quest, though. I guess it's just a shrine entry. Ooh, that's a good question. I guess I can stasis my own bombs to then launch them at a distance. Could that be a thing? Well, to see when we're at the bottom of this now, let me just fly back to Hebra Tower so that I can fly down up onto that house. Or maybe actually, might be better to just take Beauty there. Try to keep Beauty somewhat near me. So then I can ride myself over to that labyrinth and accidentally choose the correct route the first time again. There's so there's obviously like so much treasure to be got for not going the right way. That somehow, some way, I'm just completely avoiding. Right into that house we go. Of course we gotta find a certain horse as well at this point. And take a picture of it. Hello, making a snowball. I reckon you're gonna probably tell me about what I just did. Hail hey, kiddums, nice to meet a fresh face in these parts. It's not every day I get company this high in the hills. 
Can give you a warm welcome, but how about a game I made up? Snowball bowling? Or as I call it, snowling. I'll try it. Uh -huh. Ah, the sweet music of yes. There's a catch though. One game costs a cool 20 rupees to play. Still up for a round? Sure. Haha, -ha, play bells are ringing. I gotta set up the pins, but I'll be back in a flurry. The snow puns. And a blizzard of action. Oh. This is the snowball you'll use. It might not lie much, but it's a snow joke. You get two rolls, knock them flat. If you can roll over all ten pins in one roll, that's a strike. Only the most notorious boulders can pull that off. A spare is where it takes both tries to finish the job. Not as good as a strike, but nothing to sneeze at. Oh, well, good luck. I'm gonna melt my ball first. Oh, this ball can be. Oh, you planned this. What the Am I gonna have to use my stasis? I mean, how do you just get it up? What? Hello, Beauty. Nice to see you. Could have helped, you know. Well, if this is how it's going down, can I just run down and bomb it? <laughs> oh, what? That's magnesis, not stasis. Give it a shot. Oh my goodness! <laughs> yes! Hopefully that wasn't cheating. Oh. Whoa, all 10 pins! That is a strike! Snowman was done, kiddums! Spears go straight. Oh. I'm intelligent. Well, bomb me over, kiddums! A snowling like that deserves a nice prize. How's about this snowball making doohickey? Least ways I'd offer you to you if we went snow loaded with stuff. Will this do instead? Go rupee, fine by me. So, what do you think about giving it one more whirl? No, I've lost interest at the moment. No problem. I love the pins too much to ever leave. You bet your snowball I'll be here when you're ready for more. So I could just keep pe keep repeating that for 300 rupees? That's ridiculous. So I just found how to make another way to make money. Like, really, well, apart from the fact you can obviously do safe scumming at the other place. I like how it's called that, but whatever. Right then, so, we took place in some bowling. He didn't tell me about a shrine or anything like that. That's fine. We can deal. So the point here is to get the Forgotten Temple. Beauty as close to that as we can, so when we get back up near the stable, we can call her again. To be honest, we could walk to the stable and call her anyway. So thinking about it, it's not even a thing. I should have just flew. To be honest, I should hunt them down whenever I see them for their luscious, luscious meat. In fact, this is probably the prime hunting grounds when you look at it. They're probably rare meat galore. Well, the enemy's still around, hiding. Not so well, of course. They never hide well. Let's wait till we hear the blink, 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 blink noise again. And go from there. In that sense, it probably wasn't such a bad idea to ride on beauty here. Not hearing it currently. We're pretty sure it's down there. So let's go bomb my arch. And find out what this place is about. My shrine sense is not tingling. Now we are. It's near, but not near enough, is it? There's a court puzzle. In the way. Let's go engage with that first. Is this a removal puzzle? It is. So, where's the spot I need to move it to? It's one of the top ones, onto the other side. Uh 
No, that's that's definitely this way. Come on, it's pretty much there. It's pretty much there. Right, so we've gained you. But now we have to figure out. Which way we're looking to get this. Now why questioned coming here in a sense is because there is a further down lower point. Where it might mean that I can get under this section. After all it does say the temple etc. So there must be something else like an internal passage. A cave or the whatnot. Luckily there's no guardians here or anything. Oh, I actually ran out of stamina? I didn't expect to then. Maybe we can come down from lower. Because it's definitely somewhere midway. Unless it's like higher up on the sides. But to be honest, the sides there aren't exactly that high anymore. Where's my Melman's costume, by the way, that allows me to sprint with infinite stamina if I got the full set upgraded, you know? That's what we're after. So there's just nothing around here, not even a court puzzle. There's that one hidden away. Which to be honest is kind of nasty with the way it's hidden. But I guess in some senses, if you were to drop down into here, you'd drop down into there first. Now this is what I'm wondering, if it starts some kind of gauntlet. A path full of enemies. Because that's what I'd do. You betcha that's what's going on. So it was a drop down. Well, I, I'm dropping too. It's all fine. You ever need to get anywhere super fast? Launching yourself. Oh, it's just a cork. That's not what I'm after. Maybe I'm dropping down further then. There's definitely got to be a path through here. Definitely. Let's drop again. Let's just look, make sure there's no holes. Well, that's your hole. Oh my goodness. You better not be alive. God. Right. So how are we making it through this? I don't have enough arrows to shoot them all. I guess at this point I'm stealthy. I mean, I can shoot this one to death. <laughs> I guess it's finally time. If I just hold this shield up, it'll bounce back. Which means it'll kill someone. The other thing is, if I shield parry, I can also do that. Well, that's why we're going to have to get through here. At the moment, Daruk's doing the job, though. Maybe it was Daruk rather than the shield. Okay, that just deflects it. That doesn't... i got to do the parry. That parry was a bad time. So this this will be a learning experience, won't it, really? This will be a learning experience. 
I'm not going to die because I've got food. But getting this right is going to be an interesting challenge. It's time to learn. No, that just deflected it. That's no good. Right, try another shield. Any shield can do it. I'm just going by their eyes, and I'm not going right at the right time. I'm hearing the... Nope, that broke. Right. Well, we need more shields. I just go too early every time. So it takes nine hearts. I've got just about enough to survive the next shot. Ah, I'm not very good at this. Who would have guessed, but I haven't tried. That's another radiant shield. <laughs> I'm just so premature. One more try. Got it. Next one. I wonder if I've got to be close to do it. To be honest. Well, I was never going to get it on my first go. Or at least I doubted I would. Getting on the go I did, I'm quite happy that I actually got it once. If that. Can I target you from here? No, I can't. I don't know if I have to target them or not, if you know what I mean. You can pull up the other one if you like. Okay, now I've got you. Nope, that's my radiant shield. It's fine, I can get new shields. There we go, I'm learning, see? I'm learning. And considering there's gonna be more, if I can get the timing down properly, we'll be laughing for later on, surely. Right, let's get all those goods, first of all, before we keep on continuing. It's no wonder that your friend never came back. You sent him to Death Central. It was a horse, right? I guess you can fly over certain points of it and get there that way, but still. We got Blood Moon coming. Oh, you're kidding me! Down we go. You're kidding me. That was the worst possible thing. Right, so now we have all the guardians behind us are now back. The strategy I was trying from hasn't worked out. But, I still have my own cowardly abilities. Yes, when you said shrine nearby then, I worried. We have another method for getting this guy. So I'm going to sneak up carefully. You had to see me from there, didn't you? <laughs> 
So we began next strategy. Right, we obviously have to take out the other one as well. I'm just going to get the goods. And then we're down. We're out of there. Right. I've got enough cover here. Yeah, I was thinking I could get close. Right. So where's the hole up there? So we have to take this one out too. Just to ensure myself a level of safety. That's it. Oh no, come on! Out we go. It's a smash and grab at that point in time. Alright, so we did kind of actually defeat everyone down the line. Just, uh, something happened we really didn't want to happen. Oh my goodness! You're kidding me! Hopefully this is far enough away, do I don't get it blown up in any explosion. Some of these are active, some of them aren't. But as you can see, the ones that are active are the ones I need to get past. And that's a... Oh my goodness. Right, where can I go? Oh... Alright, let's make sure I can survive more than one. There's only still one shot. Um, the Guardian Gauntlet. I knew it'd be a gauntlet because of, I even said when I was up top, like, there's going to be something down here. It's going to be long. If you could put a lot of enemies in that path, it's not something that we've dealt with before. And then they put Guardians. Alright, can I ever do this two ways? Either I can try to stealth suit and sneak, which is unlikely. Or I can try to sneak a different way, is how I'm viewing it. Can we wait for him to be less active? Will he stop glowing? Derek's protection is a way off, okay. You're gonna miss! Next miss, because if you look, I'm traveling sideways. Haha! <laughs> winner, winner! Haha! <laughs> Suck it! That's all I care about. Get off. Get off my back. All that. We're on a Kaxas shrine! We reach it. And surely this is just going to be a reward. Because that's the trial. Oh my goodness. We didn't have to use a Guardian's Arrow. A little bit of stealthy subterfuge. A little bit of practicing for the shield reflect that we can do. I got a couple off. I did lose a lot of shields. But to be honest, we pick up so many shields anyway. The Guardian Shield deflects them, but it just bounces them away. and It doesn't last very long, so that was rubbish. But we learned. Yeah, I've already proven my worth. I did know, like, all the time that they probably could just fly. And because of the way they're shooting, the angle, they're going to miss you. Because it's going to, it takes a little bit to travel that beam. Otherwise, it'd be a lot easier to hit them, is what I'd say. I've already used that a bit, have I? I'll take a long throw one, then. Beautiful. Right, let's get up and get out of here. A snowball challenge, some snowball bowling, and a gauntlet of evil.
It'd have been fine if it wasn't for a blood moon, wouldn't it? It'd have been perfect. But we make it through. Just. About. Barely. To be honest, I wasn't going to die. I think I could take two shots before even having to eat. But it was just like barely and kind of like on that rough bit. At least I learnt a little bit. Maybe I'll be able to use that shield theory in practice later on. But if I want to defeat more and get some more parts, I can. But to be honest, I'm up and out of here. Can I pray to you? Are you a statue proper hidden down here? You are indeed. So essentially, I can top up my hearts as I wish and as I will. So let's get ourselves, that's first to 20. Let's bring ourselves up to 25 then, I guess. We'll take a little bit of time. But we'll be there. So for now, as I bring myself up to 25 hearts... No, it's not 25. Yeah, it's 25. What am I doing? I'll see you next episode for more, as we'll start off, most likely, at the stables. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.